It's almost back to school time. What do you think is the key to surviving back to school this year? Finding a good group of friends to kind of survive together so you have kind of a team, a squad. You need a squad for back to school. You need to roll up looking cool, walking in with a squad. And yeah, I think as long as you have good friends, it'll be easy. What do you think is a good style to have the first day back to school? I used to like obsess for weeks before of like that first day outfit. But honestly, I feel like it's not a big deal. Like you think it's a big deal, but people don't really care. Just wear what you like and wear what you think you're gonna feel confident in and whatever your style is. What is something that you would wear back to school? Would you wear a dress? Would you wear like shorts or jeans? I'd probably keep it simple. I'd just wear like a nice pair of skinny jeans, a cute little crop top, like maybe a cardigan, choker. I love chokers. And then like, I always wear my Adidas sneakers everywhere. Like, sorry, I wear it every day, so. It's yeah. good to have a nice comfortable pair of shoes for school. Yes. Yeah, I love them. They're the best. What about for makeup? Do you think it's better to go like more heavy makeup or keep it simple? Always keep it simple for school. Even like for me, I like to, I like to do a full face of makeup every day. It's just like, something that relaxes me to do my makeup, but I still keep it really natural looking. Just like a nice neutral eye with like a, I like highlight, lots of highlight on my cheeks just to make you look glowing and fresh. But yeah, definitely simple, simple lips. Like I just wear lip balm mostly, but yeah. If you had to pick five things, like you only have five minutes to get ready, maybe it's less than five, maybe it's more, but what are like the steps that like, should you always do your brows and eyelashes or bronzer and a lip balm? What do you think is the key? For me, I would do my skin, because I'm self-conscious of my skin, so I do foundation, and I think eyebrows, because they really shape your face. Nice lip balm, maybe mascara, and like a, some color on your cheeks, and blush. It can be really hard to wake up in the morning for school. Do you think it's important to pick out your outfit the night before? Oh yeah, I used to do that all the time. I used to shower, do my, like pick out my outfit, have it ready all the night before because I would want to sleep in as much as possible yeah. <laughs> and yeah, definitely everything the night before. What are some quick hairstyles that you can think are good for like that five minute get out the door look? Um, well, not looking like that, but you know, <laughs> if you only have five minutes, you have to get out the door. I like the side braid. It's always easy. I just like natural hair. Like, I don't know. Lately, I've just been like blow drying my hair after I get out of the shower and it kind of looks okay. Just like natural. Um... Or like a messy one, it's cute. But I really like the side braid. Put together, but it's yeah. not. <laughs> I know some people like yeah. braid it or put so it in a bun, and nice then there's like, yeah. yeah. I used to do that a lot in high school, yeah. yeah. What about surviving classes? Do you have any homework tips or study tips? Oh, I was not the best <laughs> at that. Um, I would say keep an agenda, just so you're really on top of things. You just write down everything you need to do, get it done, I know it sucks, but maybe, if you have like a goal, this is what I do when I have like a goal or like something I want to achieve. Like you, you write down the steps backwards. So like, name the goal and then the step you need before you get that goal and then like down. And then it doesn't seem like it's that hard when you see all the steps in order. So then you just do the steps and yeah, I don't know. It's kind of like an organization tip. Can you give an example? <laughs> I don't know. Like say, okay, this is like really big, but say you want to be a dentist when you grow up. This has nothing to do with school, but like the steps you need to take to get there. Like, okay, you're a dentist. Step before that, I don't know, you go to dental school. <laughs> Step before that, college. Step before that, get a certain grade in school. Like, you know. And then it doesn't seem like, oh, it's 10 years away. It doesn't yeah. seem so big when you do it in that kind of step form thing, you know? <laughs> yeah. What do you bring to school with you? Uh, I used to bring the basic stuff, stuff that I would need, like my binder. Uh, agenda. Agenda's big. I'm like very yeah. organizational. Like it just helps when you have it all laid out in your calendar. Yeah. You have like colorful pens, deodorant, oh, lip yeah. balm, water bottle, what kinds oh, yeah. of stuff. My locker was stocked with all the snacks and all the necessities. <laughs> um, but yeah, I used to love highlight highlighters. I had a ton of those just because highlighting is super helpful if you need to like memorize things. Would you take notes in one color, like with just a pen or pencil, or would you use like multicolored pens? Oh, I would. I would use multicolored, and I, sometimes I get in trouble because they don't like teachers don't like that. They like the blue pen only. Yeah. I'm like, no, I want to use the pink one, the blue <laughs> one, the purple. I used to do that, and people would always ask me for notes because it'd be easy to figure it's out. Cute. It makes it like cuter, and you want to actually study it. <laughs> it makes a difference. Totally.